Good day students and welcome back to Succeed in Computer Practice with Mr. H. In today's tutorial, we are going to do a nested if activity. All right, so we need to go and calculate the result, the grade and commission by using a nested if. Now, if we look at the activity to the questions, make use of a nested if statement to calculate the following statements to work out the result. Or the result is going to be worked out if the final mark is more or equal to 40 a student will pass more than or equal to 35 a student will supplement or fail display the word pass sub or fail in each case all right so let's go so we're going to type in equals if and then we can double click first of all the first thing is the first criteria is if the final mark is more or equal to 40 semicolon that's one you've now you've now written your criteria if that mark is more or equal to 40 then the following must happen then inverted comma they will pass all right, so a student passes if they have more or equal to 40. However, what happens if it is not more or equal to 40? Remember, then the student will either supplement or fail. So that part of the formula is now completed. So we ended off with a semicolon. And then we ask another question. If However, this mark is more or equal to 35, then semicolon, the following must happen, inverted comma, a student will then either supplement, close your semicolon because we're using a word, semicolon, or the student will, inverted comma, fail, inverted comma close your your second if but remember there's two ifs in in this so we have to close off we have to tell excel okay we we're done we're not going to add another if so we need to close the formula and then you press enter copy the formula down all right now we're going to do the grade. Let's go and look at the question. The grade is displayed based on the following. A final mark of 18 is going to be a A. 70 a B, 60 a C, 50 a D, 40 a E, and 40 an F. But, okay, so more or equal to 80 would be an A, more or equal to 70, a B, more or equal to 60, a C, more or equal to 50, a D, more or equal to 40, an E. However, less or equal to 40 will be an F. All right, so that, those are my ifs. These are all if questions that we are now going to use in a nested if calculation. So, let's see. Put our cursor in the correct cell. Equals if. So, if this mark is more or equal to 80 semicolon what must happen inverted comma it will be an a semicolon sorry inverted comma semicolon that's my first if the semicolon separates the different ifs all right so now my next if if this mark is more 
or equal to 70 semicolon inverted comma a b inverted comma semicolon now we repeat until we get to to e all right e and f so if bracket this mark is more than or equal to 60 semicolon inverted comma a c inverted comma semicolon if bracket this mark more than or equal to 50 semicolon inverted comma a d inverted comma semicolon if bracket this mark more than equal to 40 in semicolon inverted comma and a b c d e inverted comma semicolon and the only difference now is if if this mark if bracket this mark less than or equal to 40 semicolon inverted comma if inverted comma and then what we need to close off the formula so we need to go and count how many ifs did we actually use now, i'm going to count the letters of the alphabet or the symbols that's one two three four five six so that that was six different ifs that we used so we need to close each one off by using by closing it off with six brackets so bracket one two three four five six all right and you can see that the last one was black so it was the end of the formula and then we click on or we, or we press enter and there is my answer and then i can just copy the formula down let's go to the next question determine the commission that a salesperson will get the commission is based on the sales made so if a sale of more or equal to fifty thousand was received 20 percent of the sales must be worked out as commission more than or equal to thirty thousand ten percent of sales will become the commission more than thirty thousand receives no commission all right so let's see all right remember more than fifty thousand will receive a commission of twenty percent more than thirty thousand receives ten percent commission less than thirty thousand receives no commission all right so equals if if this amount the sales amount is more or equal to fifty thousand what must happen semicolon now we're going to work out what must happen bracket then this amount must be multiplied with 20 percent close your bracket semicolon you're done with the first part now we're going into the second if if bracket however this amount is more than or equal to 30,000. 
what must happen? Semicolon. All right. Bracket. Then this amount must be multiplied by 10%. Close your bracket. All right. Semicolon. Add a zero. Close your formula. Close your if. Press in. Copy the formula down. 10% was calculated here. 20% was calculated. This is below 30. So no percent was calculated. More than 30. So this means 10% was calculated. So thank you students for watching. And join me in the next video where we will be doing a text function.